Hi viewers, uh, today I'm going to do a, a insider preview of Windows 11 update. I just did upgraded my um, laptop uh, through the Windows insider upgrade. Uh, it took me around three hours to get uh, upgrade completed. Um, let's start with this. Uh, this is my uh, Lenovo Yoga uh, uh, 9 series which I bought last year which is compatible with um, Windows 11. So this is your new uh, Windows 11 desktop screen. So uh, as you can see, uh, that is uh, everything is centered now. The start button is on the center. So the start menu is totally completely different. I'll first show if you want to uh, do a Windows um, Insider preview. I'll tell you how to do it. Um, if you have Windows 10, go to the Windows update and you will be having an option called uh, Windows Insider Preview. So click on that and you just need to sign up, which is already signed up. So that's why I'm uh, able to uh, uh, get the uh, Windows 11 upgraded. So as you can see here, it's been already updated to, uh, this is the uh, Preview Insider Preview build version. So. so I'll show you what are the changes as you see uh, the look and feel is completely different, different in sense it's more polished and it's more glassy I would say or I would say it's more like a Mac OS feel you will get and the icons are more smooth and uh, rounded corners. So let's start with the uh, start button. So the start button is now center. So this is your new start, uh, start menu. So all you can see is all your pinned, um, there is no more tiles, all your pinned applications will be show up here. So you can scroll here and see what are the uh, application you pinned to your start menu on Windows 10 will be automatically migrated to Windows 11. And the bottom section, you will see the uh, recently opened items. And if you want to see all your apps, just click on the all apps or you just go and type here. Um, maybe if I want to find Netflix there you go so you can type anything you can type all uh, or you can search for an app or you can search for documents or you can search for on the web and you have multiple options here so that's a cool uh, neat feature uh, previously used to have a, a Cortana here the Cortana is no more uh, added to your task menu so it just your uh, start menu you can start type and find whatever you want here so that's on the start menu and uh, this is pretty neat uh, um, the translucent of the start menu is good the transparency is really good it, it, it feels fresh for me and and the annoying shadow option on the windows 10 has been more uh, streamlined here so you once you click on this power button you can see shadow no reset option if you click here you can um, uh, log off or log out from the option so that's nice segregation uh, from the Windows 10 so that's um, I like it and the settings is completely changed it's it's fresh it's been really organized uh, it's easy to navigate you can find what all the informations you want <clears throat> so it's, it's been um, neatly organized so if you want to check uh, I'm running on the Windows 11 um, let me show you yep Windows featured experiment pack so it's a Windows 11 Home Edition. So you can find it everything here. So all been uh, um, categorized properly. You can see everything uh, as good as uh, in your phone. So it's neatly organized. That's what I'm, I'm trying to say here. So you can change the theme, colors, effect. Everything is uh, super cool and neat. So uh, so icon settings. So as you can see, the window itself is a rounded corner. So in, in, in 10, it's all rectangle. Now it is more rounded. So that's a, a cool neat feature. So if you want to really uh, see what are the new uh, uh, functionalities or features in Windows 11, in the start menu itself, you have the getting, get started option. So it will give uh, multiple options like setting up your um, uh, OneDrive or uh, setting up your um, uh, Edge and you can link your phone so that's more easier now and uh, if you don't want to do anything you can open the tips now so it will show what are the new features uh, available in Windows 11 
so you can see all the widgets and everything so widgets is uh, if you want to look at the widgets this is the one just click here I'll show all the widgets here so there is a um, guest or operations also you just swipe uh, from the edge uh, on your uh, laptop uh, touchpad you will able to uh, see uh, from the left you can see the widgets if you do it from the right you can see the uh, notifications so this is cool uh, new widgets area you can customize everything you can drag and drop and you can reorganize whichever things you want if you don't want you can just uh, remove everything um, if you don't want anything there so this is how the new notification uh, in Windows 11 it's it's neat and uh, clean I would say when you compare it to um, Windows 10 so you can see by uh, category by which app or whatever it is um, you can have options like turn the notification off or you can just uh, remove it from the notification the other information such as your brightness everything is cool uh, so Wi-Fi you can see here now it's all uh, within the uh, notification area here so everything is cool neatly um, placed and controls are looking uh, really good and you can do the uh, customization also which are the um, frequently used um, notifications or uh, controls you want to place it here you can do it here um, what else we have and even the uh, contact maneuvers are looking so neat uh, what I would say is it's it feels more fresh and more refined that's what I would say uh, so it's nothing nothing changed but the look and feel you you feel like yes it, this is what it's supposed to be the windows uh, from the beginning so something like that so I really like it um, uh, let me show you uh, another neat feature so if you want to uh, um, snap your window that's still there you can just snap it but there is another easy option for it is that you can choose which position you want to place it so if I want to place it there I can easily place it there so it's it's a neat uh, neat feature uh, you can just choose whichever the uh, option you want okay I want to place it there and place it here so so multitasking is much more smoother and easier um, you don't need to do anything um, special and another uh, cool feature I like is you can have multiple desktop now similar to uh, what you can see it on Mac you can add multiple desktop and you can um, arrange uh, how many desktops you want and you can uh, switch in between them and I will show you the new Microsoft Store which is a ground up that's what Microsoft said um, so let's see um, how it looks yep it looks good and uh, there is a good uh, segregation of uh, items like apps gaming and entertainment and it looks really good for me it's it's more uh, colorful and organized and easy to find and uh, you can see your own library what you want uh, by the types like app games or movies or TV uh, TV shows so if you can see it's a preview so this will be the um, new Microsoft Store uh, once um, everyone is getting their hands on to uh, Windows 11 so now you can check all the updates of your apps on your library so if you go there you can see uh, what are all the apps you installed and if there is any um, updates available you can just click on the get updates it'll check for any new updates so let me show you how it will look in the uh, light mode um, so this is on the dark mode you can go to the personal personalization and colors and you see it on the light mode so that's the light mode and the stack menu looks um, beautiful yeah it's a little slow I feel uh, when I comparing to the Windows 10 I'm not sure whether it's because of the uh, developer preview or the um, insider preview uh, I have to see uh, how fast it is uh, working I think changing the uh, theme it's taking a little more time that's smooth yeah. so now with the pen if you have any text box anything there now we given with the option to write there so you can just write so it automatically um, show the text for it 
So if you want to delete, you just strike it. You can delete. So you have another uh, options also like splitting a word and joining a word. Say for example, uh, so every day. So I want to split this, just do a, a downwards. So the word is split. If you want to join, you can join. If you want to delete, just strike it out. So this is the new feature on the uh, pencil on the, you can have an on-screen keyboard also. It's more um, centered to the screen and uh, you can type here. And you have the shift keyboard also in here. So which is another uh, cool new feature. So as you see it on the Windows 10, uh, you have option for uh, tablet mode and uh, uh, laptop mode. But in Windows 11, you do, do not have it. The OS automatically detects in which mode you are. So it, it adjusts the uh, entire system according to uh, which mode you are, if you are in a tablet mode or in a laptop mode. Uh, I will keep uh, looking for anything new on this. Um, if you guys have any uh, questions or uh, want to know more about it uh, or ask me the questions, I can um, make a video on that and post it to my channel. So another option I would like to show you is how to uh, change the uh, alignment or uh, position of your start menu. So you have this in the personalization or uh, taskbar settings or you just right click on the taskbar, taskbar settings and go to the um, last option taskbar behaviors and you can change this position left and you have another option called pen menu so this is by default off so if you <coughs> turn it on then you will um, see the uh, pen menu when you take the pen near to the screen is it showing somewhere oh, okay is that's the menu yeah that's the menu so it's showing the menu there so you have options like writing on the screen or taking a sc screenshot everything is much more easier now so screenshot okay new so let's do a screenshot so that's a, a cool new feature so i like it so in the pen menu you can um, modify uh, what are the applications you want to show up here on the settings you have uh, the options you can choose whatever the uh, application you want to show on the top so now I have a sketch and um, whiteboard so this is the whiteboard one so where you can just draw or take a note or whatever it is you want you can just uh, do it do it here so I'll show you how the board time is um, it's, it's very fast so that's the new startup sound you, um, you hear for the Windows 11 that's about it and uh, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.